it's time to start my story! This game's protagonist has to be me, after all. Woo! I'm finally here! Seriously, though, this tower is super gilded. And now that I'm getting a good look at it from down here, this thing is gigantic! I know! If it's this huge, I bet the view from up top is amazing! If I just shimmy up this thing, I'm sure I'll know where I am. I'm so smart. All right! Open sesame! Hey, wait just a sec! It won't open, no matter how hard I push or pull! Ooh, I get it. The joke's that it was a sliding door this whole time, right? Guess not. If I transformed, I could fly all the way up. But I can't seem to do that. It might be because of the damage from the brawl with a gold third. I'm not giving up just because I can't transform. If I can't climb from the inside, then I just gotta scale the outside. Tower climbing, here I go! So, this is the Golden Summit. As a tower enthusiast, I'd love to go in, but work comes first. It seems worth trying to climb it, though. Maybe I'll come back if I get some vacation time. Ah! Hmm? What is that? Someone's voice? But from where? I'm falling! Move! 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 Wait, from above? Why is that kid falling from the sky? Kid? I could say the same thing about you, Squirt! Who are you, anyway? The name's IF. I'm a gust of wind blowing through... Wait! It's Iffy! <laughs> to think I'd reunite with you like this, Iffy! It reminds me of the first time we met! I remember, I accidentally slipped off the top floor of the true Neptral Tower and landed right in front of you. Um, who the heck are you? And how do you know my nickname? Oh, come on. Don't you think that's pretty cold, even coming from you, Iffy? I didn't mean to disappear from the arena so suddenly, so I don't think it's right of you to get angry over it. What in the world are you saying? Did you hit your head when you fell? Do you have a concussion right now? Because if you do, I'm gonna need to call an ambulance to take you to a hospital. Not cool, Iffy. Even I could get angry if you keep poking fun at me like that. <sighs> this girl's no good. Maybe it's because she hit her head so hard, but everything she's saying is complete garbage. Huh? Just a minute. You're not angry and you're not pulling my leg? I'm not angry, and I'm not joking at all. Jeez, you're a rude person. Uh, that sounded like a serious reaction. Sounds like? <laughs> it is a serious reaction, weirdo. But that's a relief. You can actually hold a normal conversation. For some reason, I don't see any injuries on you either. So I'll be going. I'm in the middle of a job right now. Oh, I know. Since you're here, I'd like to ask you for help with my investigation. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? A suspicious person? Yeah, like a really suspicious old lady. Nope, I haven't seen anything. Crap, it probably means it was a hoax. Something wrong with this lady? If you're after her, Iffy, then she must have done something bad. I can't give you all the details, but she's the perpetrator of several thefts. I came here after looking into a few eyewitness testimonies, but I guess they were cold leads. I better head back to the Basilicom and investigate some more before I make a move. The Basilicom? That means you're going to Planetoon, right? Yeah, but, well, it'd be a problem to leave a kid in a place like this. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I'll tag along. You should be fine here. By the way, there's no way you're not injured after that fall, so you need to get over to the hospital ASAP, got it? You heading to the Basilicum, Iffy? That's what I was thinking, but there's a change of plans. I'm gonna gather some more info here before heading out. 
Oh, cool. So do you think I could? Nope. Don't need your help. Aww. This is my job. I can't let a kid like you just shadow me into some dangerous situations. I'm sure you'd just get in the way anyhow. <laughs> You're so stingy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Just get yourself to the hospital, all right? Okay, fine. Now then, putting aside the fact that if he doesn't know who I am, I made it to Planetune, so I should figure out what the heck's going on around here. Who are you? Don't be silly, it's me! Neptune! N-E-P-T-U-N-E! -E. Neptune? I don't know that name. Oh, not again. You and Iffy tell the meanest jokes. Oh, I get it. You guys are planning a surprise party for me, so you're being mean on purpose. This is Lady Bisha's Holy Basilicon. I will not allow you to make a mockery of it, even if you are but a child. I will not go easy on you. Just hang on a second, will ya? Who's Lady Bisha? This is my Basilicom, isn't it? Good grief, what a noisy child. Leave this Basilicom at once! Huh? Wait, what? Excuse me, but what's going on here? The level of noise is quite unacceptable. Oh, Lady Eastwar. This child is causing a ruckus trying to force her way inside the Basilicom. Child? Why, Neptune, is that you? Isty? 
Isti, you haven't forgotten me? How could I possibly forget you? Oh, goodness. I never thought I would see you again. Oh, Isti, me too. Iffy, the citizens, and everyone else don't know who I am. I was super lonely. Lady Eastwar, is this an acquaintance of yours? Yes, she is a very old friend of mine. Please, allow me to look after her. Understood. Come, Neptune. Let's not stand around here. We will retire to the back to speak at length. So what in the haze going on around here? To be honest, I am not completely sure. However, it is certain that the existence of CPUs has been erased from the collective memory of game industry's population. So, that's why everyone was acting like they just had met me. Wait, then how do you remember me, Isti? This is only a theory, but it may be because I was created artificially to record Planetune's history. I believe this phenomenon occurred because some unknown power somehow altered the entire history of game industry. That may be why the Gold Third is currently presiding over this world, and the CPUs are entirely non-existent. Ah, I see. There are several distinct changes. The first is the appearance of monsters. They are ferocious and have never actually been identified before. They're entirely new and their numbers are increasing rapidly. There are also reports of a strange phenomenon where some monsters suddenly become violent. In the past, there were cases of monsters being polluted via the deity of Sin's miasma. But this is a separate anomaly. Since they attack others indiscriminately, we are calling them delusionary monsters. They are currently under investigation. The second change here is that organizations are using their existence as an excuse to skirmish with other factions senselessly. It is not escalated to full-blown national war, but its scale is slowly increasing. The most serious threat, however, is the group said to be manipulating all of this from the shadows. You're talking about Affimax, right? How do you know that name? That information is being meticulously controlled. Oh, I just saw it on an Enchan thread. Oh, on the internet? Has the information leaked? Oh, don't be silly. It's Enchan we're talking about here. So what's Affimax up to? When I asked on Enchan, people said they didn't want to talk about it. They told me to stop fading and go back to Nepit. Ooh. Affimax. Reports have indicated that they steal business technology and information, sell it to others, and are the ones spreading the war. Sounds kind of like those mastermind orgs in anime and games that start wars to make a profit by selling weapons and supplies. It is precisely that. Still, just because there are no CPUs, how did the world get so dangerous? Hey, that also means that all those people complaining about us being incompetent were totally wrong. Eat that! That may be so. Recalling those times now, I feel they were by far the most peaceful. By the way, where is the gold third member that's ruling over Planetune in my place? Well, I am not sure what caused this twist of fate but she slacks off just as much as you do and is out today as well. Why is it that those in charge of Planetune never like to work in the slightest? Oh, of course! If Bisha refuses to work, then I can simply have you take her place, Neptune. What? How do you come to that conclusion? The world is in disorder because of these conflicts. This is the time you must fulfill your duties as a CPU. What? I will not hear any complaints. Planetune. No, the entirety of game industry is facing a crisis. Then can I go help out Iffy? Help IF? But she does not remember. Yeah, I know. I met her earlier. Is it not painful? Yeah, it is. But it can't be helped. Besides, she might remember me if I hang out with her enough, you know? From your story, Isti, it sounds like Iffy's taking on Appy Max alone. And I don't think that's the safest thing for her to be doing. 